In the present section, we will have an overview on the climatic change and we will examine how that is related to the research on photosynthesis. So, we will highlight the causes of that phenomenon and then we will focus on its severe impact. Lastly, we will investigate how our research can be related and why not how our research would propose a way out. In order to understand uh, the phenomenon, we should firstly analyze the basis of the, as we call, greenhouse effect. Briefly, as we can see on the schema, uh, the sunlight approaches the Earth's surface and it is at that moment the greenhouse gases trap a part of that radiation and in that way they hit the lower layers of the atmosphere. But are these gases exist normally on the atmosphere? So indeed the gases are normally present in the atmosphere and more specifically they are highly necessary. At this point we have to understand the slight balance between their positive and negative impact. From the one hand, as we remarked, they have an essential role on scavenging a percentage of the mirror radiation. From the other hand, if they overpass the fragile line of uh, their expected percentages, then they can easily provoke the phenomenon of climatic change that we present hereafter. The causes that distract the equilibrium are mostly an effect of humans' modern way of living and they can be easily detected on most aspects of his life. Briefly, the most important of these reasons are firstly the consumption of fossil fuels, coal and oil that dramatically increases the CO2 levels and then the deforestation for agriculture purposes and the large livestock breeding which both decrease the already few remaining green spaces. So in the following uh, graph um, we can understand how deeply the industrial evolution affected the CO2 concentration. Since then the humanity set a dramatically upward trend on CO2 levels and then 50 years were enough to almost double the CO2 levels. Then the results were appeared quickly. Firstly, since the 19th century, an increase of uh, 0.9 Celsius degrees has been recorded on surface temperature, while the ocean average temperature has been increased as well. In simple terms, we could say that Earth got fever and that even a small increase on temperature has a huge impact. As a result of that temperature increase, we have an undoubtable change of the ice age. More specifically, Greenland loses 200 81 billion tons of ice annually, while on the same period Antarctica has 119 billion tons of ice loss. However, it is not only the ice, it's on the same time the glaciers of Alps and Himalayas, for example, and even the snow covered on mountain tops face a noticeable decrease. Uh, regarding the impact on the seas, we have to mention the fact of uh, ocean acidification that may not be detected directly by us but for sure it affects the natural habitat for thousand marine species. Moreover, the sea level faced a 20.32 cm rise and extreme environmental events like hurricanes and floods happen more and more often. A result of the above reasons is that for the first time we recorded the term of environmental immigrant. Indeed, from New Zealand to Alaska there are a whole villages that have been forced to move off out of their space. Uh, realizing the described situation, several steps have been done in order to confront these issues. One of the latest examples is the conference which uh, negotiated the Paris Agreement. This is a global agreement on the reduction of climatic change, the text of which represents a consensus of the representatives of the 196 parties attending it. The Paris Agreement's uh, long-term goal is to keep the increase in global average temperature well below 2 uh, Celsius degrees above pre-industrial levels and to limit the increase to 1.5 Celsius degrees since they would substantially reduce the risk and effect of climatic change. Uh, it was um, in Copenhagen developed countries pledged to give uh, 100 billion dollars a year to developing countries for climatic finance by the year 2020. Climatic change and agriculture are uh, interrelated processes, both of which take place on a global scale. 
Climatic change affects agriculture in a number of ways, including uh, through changes in average temperatures, rainfall, and uh, climatic extremes like heat waves, changes in pests and diseases, changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide, and ground level ozone concentrations. At the same time, agriculture, especially intensive agriculture, characterized by monocultures and uh, aimed at feeding farm animals, is one that leads the highest amount of emissions of CO2. This quantity can be compared only to the sum total of the CO2 emitted by all forms of transportation. A last question is uh, how our research could be connected with potential solutions, or we could think what could be the connection of tunnel prices uh, and how the plant research can provide a way out on the climatic change. The first reported Nobel Prize is one uh, is the one at which actually indicates the problem of climatic change and highlights the actions that should be conducted. However, almost 40 years ago, uh, the, the second Nobel Prize was nominated to an agronomist at that time. Borlaug was awarded for his research on the development of green evolution with um, the new high yielding varieties that he developed and introduced on Mexico, Pakistan and India, not only he managed to decrease effectively the problem of hunger, but on the same time he decreased the need of agricultural space and thus reduced the deforestation. So, it's a characteristic example of the solution that the research in that field can provide. To recapitulate, human activities and modern way of life continue to increase the problem. Actions should be taken immediately, in a personal level, and of course, as a society as well. However, always on research there is a wider take-home message that we could think about. In the current situation, the remark is the following. As a person, we may not be always able to explain large-scale phenomena due to our limited point of view. For example, People did not understand roughness of earth several centuries ago. Likewise, nowadays, there are people that doubt about climatic change. As a lifetime is very short period, does, that does not let them to understand the bigger scale changes like temperature increase. However, science and research are always here to provide the needed facts and proofs. And at the current situation, we have to believe them and act.